Hi guys, how are you? I'm happy to be here again with another video. How are you all doing? I'm so glad to be here and to share with you. Friends, if you but adventure you are coming here for the first time, this is Channel to be. Thank you so much for making effort to be here. I sincerely appreciate it. Please endeavor to subscribe to this channel, press notification bell. So that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. At the same time, to all my amazing, wonderful subscribers, the returning and the new ones, thank you so much for your amazing support. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. One more time, please watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share this video as much as you can, if it is possible for you to do. I will so much appreciate it. Having said that, let's go straight into the G's that we have to share together at the moment. Okay? All right. Um, Lesotho Zimbabwe matches will be used to prepare Super Eagles for African Cup of Nations that will be held in January 2024. The Nigerian Football Federation has said that it will use the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against the Crocodiles of Lesotho and the Zimbabwe's national team to prepare the Super Eagles for the 2024 African Cup of Nations built to hold next year in Côte d'Ivoire. The Super Eagles camp for the World Cup qualifiers opened yesterday in Rio with majority of the players expected to arrive in the city today ahead of the first game in the series against Crocodiles of Lesotho on Thursday. According to a program released by the Nigerian Football Federation, Super Eagles full training will commence later this evening at the Gosui Aquabio Stadium, which will be which will also host the the match, the Nigerian Football Federation, in the release said, uh, in the release made available uh, to the Guardian paper yesterday, the Lesotho delegation to the game will arrive in Nigeria today aboard the Kenya, the Kenya Airways flight. He further said that the, the delegation will sleep over in Lagos and then fly into you on Tuesday morning, where players and officials will be accommodated at Ibom Hotels and Resorts. The match officials, including the contingent of, the, of Tunisian's referees, are also expected to arrive in Uyo on Tuesday ahead of Thursday's battle. Speaking with the newspaper, the Nigerian Football Federation Secretary General Mohamed Sanusi assured Nigerians that the Federation has provided everything the Super Eagles need to pick the World Cup ticket and also excel at the 2024 African Cup of Nations. Well, that remains to be seen if actually everything has been made proof have been provided according to the assurance the Secretary General has given here, where the Secretary General further said, we are working around the clock to see that the Eagles do not fail to pick the World Cup ticket. The Nigerian Football Federation has supported the players and coaches in every capacity to start on a positive note by winning the first World Cup qualifier against Lesotho, as well proceed to Kigali, Rwanda, to defeat Zimbabwe, to maintain a comfortable lead on the group's log. That is the, that is Lucy speaking. The 20,000 capacity stadium located in the city of Butari, which is 135 kilometers south of the Rwanda capital, Kigali, as an artificial turf 
Zimbabwe has adopted Rwanda as home for the qualifiers as no stadium in the Southern African nation has been deemed fit to host the FIFA World Cup qualifying games. Other teams in Nigerian groups in the World Cup qualifying race are South Africa and Benin Republic. On preparation for Kulu 2024, uh, Sanusi said the Federation is also working out programs for the Eagles to have quality preparation ahead of the 2024 African Cup of Nations, which will kick off early next year. The two games against Lesotho and Zimbabwe are games, take note, are games that will also help put the Eagles in the right spirit ahead of the African Cup of Nations. So this, these two games are being used to really fine-tune and prepare the national team for the, the 2024 African Cup of Nations that will be held in Côte d'Ivoire. All right, so that is uh, the leadership of Super Eagles, I mean, of uh, Nigerian Football Federation talking about the preparation of the Super Eagles for the African Cup of Nations that will come up next year. But the issue at hand now is, I mean, the main focus at hand is to, to play well and win these two matches coming up. One on Thursday against Lesotho and then the next one against Zimbabwe in Rwanda. All right, all hands must be on deck so that Nigerian Super Eagles will fly high in these two matches. Till I come your way again next time with another video, I'd like to say to you guys, bye-bye.